Temple students and people from all over the country have been lining up as early as 6.30 a.m. to get into today's Bernie Sanders show. And it's safe to say this crowd is feeling the burn. I had to get two or three babysitters actually to cover me for the day so I could be here from 6.30 in the morning until probably about 11 o'clock tonight. Liz was the first person in line, but now Bernie supporters are wrapped around the block. We're just huge Bernie supporters. We realize that him coming to Temple is a once in a lifetime kind of thing, so we decided to get here as early as possible because we want to get really close. <laughs> Clearly, a lot of people had the same idea, including these high school guys. This is pretty much a senior skip day for a bunch of us. This is the first election they can vote in, and they say it's Bernie or bust. I think if it's not Bernie, I'm definitely going to Europe. My plans are to go to Europe for school in Germany, but if he's president, I don't know, I may stick around. A lot of this crowd is young voters who think they can swing the Democratic primary. We are the future of politics, and the fact that the future of politics supports Bernie Sanders says it all right there. He's resonating with what a lot of students are thinking, and a lot of young people in general, and he's uh, doing an inclusive campaign and trying to bring people together, and that's, that's the thing that I love most about him. What would a crowd of excited voters be without Bernie himself to fire them up? I made this as a paper mache head. I started with a hard hat underneath, cardboard, paper mache, some paints. Took me a little while. And now he's out getting supporters excited and registered to vote. Well, if we fight. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Becca Hendrickson.